Hi, today we're going to read Jingle Paws, and this is by Margaret Weiss Brown, and this is with permissions by Paragon Books. And there's Jingle Paws and his little helpers. It was quiet in the house, quiet as a tangerine, quiet as a nut, quiet as cranberry sauce. When all of a sudden, at the sound of a mouse, squeak, cat leapt off the bed and ran through the house. Where could the mouse be? Cat wanted a chase. So down the stairs, under the chairs, and in every fun place. Oops. You guys see the mouse? Cat crept in the closet and took a close look. Hmm. He searched every corner. He searched every nook. At a noise from the chimney, cat hid by the tree. It seemed loud for a mouse, so what could it be? Cat peeked out for a look. But this was no mouse. A dog with his helpers whooshed into the house. There he comes. Cat's eyes opened wide. It was Jingle Paws with a sack full of presents, like a, like a pet, pet's Santa Claus. There were gifts for the pets, for the mouse, a ripe cheese, and Cat's favorite catnip, though the toy made him sneeze. Jingle Paws found some treats left for him by the grate, and he ate them right up licking crumbs from the plate. Then he wagged his short tail. It was time to move on. With a whoosh up the chimney and a woof, he was gone. There he goes in his sleigh. was ready to play when who should he see but a mouse eating cheese right there in the tree. He finally found the mouse. And for the rest of the night there was peace in the house as under the tree Cat played with a mouse. Uh oh, looks like they got the lights. And that's the end.